Hey guys, um, Tom here. Wanted to make a quick video, share a quick thought. I know I shouldn't be making videos when I drive, but just uh, so damn convenient. I'm gonna get a little, little stand, um, little holder for my truck to make it a little easier, but wanted to share a quick idea about the tithe. So maybe everybody already knows about this. Again, I'm just gonna share my story. Maybe it relates to a, some kid or somebody that's really struggling, a younger person, um, maybe it'll shed some light in their life. So I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos growing up, me and my family struggled, you know, financially we were pretty poor. Even when my dad was around, you know, he, he wasn't that great with finances. And we were always waiting for our big break, but it just would never come. Sorry, I had a camera super close. We're always waiting for our big break and it would just never come. And I remember, even as a kid, I remember just thinking like, man, we just can't catch a break. You know, um, we just never got our legs financially. And then especially after when my, when my dad dipped, you know, my mom had nine kids and uh, we struggled. And um, I want to share with you the moment everything changed in my life, how I went from poverty, not rich by any means right now, but um, I'm doing really well. I'm a single guy. I don't really have any responsibilities. So um, I don't know, I'd, I'd say I'm pretty blessed. Um, I'm doing okay. But I want to share a story of how I got out of the trench. So when I was 19, I got my DUI and I tried to turn my life over to Christ. But one thing I learned, I started reading a lot of Christian books and they were always talking about the tithe, giving 10% of your income to a charitable cause, a church, or maybe donating it to a family in need. Um, and that just kind of struck a chord with me. I, I was not generous. I was very a very selfish person before I, you know, had my conversion. Excuse me. And uh, so I was very selfish, but I was also very broke. And I still remember the day I learned about the tithe and I really let that seed take root in my heart. I had a hundred dollars. This is what I remember. I had a hundred dollars in my bank, my last hundred dollars. And just like always in my life, something came up and snatched that hundred dollars out of my life so i looked in my bank expecting a hundred dollars but i saw there was some charge from some company some weird company i don't remember ever dealing with so i call them i'm like hey why the heck did you guys take a thousand a hundred dollars from me and long story short i was subscribed to something that had a yearly subscription or something to a hundred dollars so sure enough it took my last one hundred dollars and I, I was back on that little hamster wheel of going to work and something else would take my money from me car breakdown a bill something so i read about the tithe and there was a scripture that said um something along the lines of god said test me give into my storehouses that the widows and the orphans can have food and test me to see that how i'll open up the windows of heaven for you and you won't even have room for how much I'm gonna, how much I'm gonna give to you in your life. So I thought, wow, that sounds nice. And I had the faith to go along with the new wisdom. Thought, man, I gotta try this out. So the next time I made money, I put aside the 10%. And to me, it was a lot of money because I was already so broke. My whole family was broke. Just we just did not have any traction in life man it was so hard so i took that 10 percent of my earnings wow wow sorry that, i'm looking at this family that bought this farm right next to me and it's a hispanic family so i'm just they're out riding their four-wheelers out on their new property look like they're having a good time been waiting to see who moved there but anyways so i took the 10 percent and I gave it to a church 
or I don't remember exactly who I gave it to, but I gave it to some organization. And, um, you know, a couple days later, I just didn't really think much about it, but I felt really good giving the money. First time in my life ever giving any kind of money away. It seemed counterintuitive. You know, if you're trying to be, you know, more financially free, it doesn't make sense to give money away. So then something happened that week. A, a new job opportunity came up. Um, a new client came into our life. And all of a sudden, you know, my income had increased. And just, you know, I kept, you know, with that new income, I kept giving 10%. Sorry, I get so excited about this. I have a calling for financial stuff. I just love financial stuff. I love helping people and uh, I love helping people around me, you know, be more successful. Not, not for the things, but for the freedom and the time it gives you. And things are nice too, all right? But yeah, anyways, so I gave the 10% and boom, a, a new client came around. I gave it, I kept giving the 10% and it just kept snowballing in my life. Opportunities, man, just jobs, clients, business ideas. And the most important thing, well, it's not the most important thing, but a big part of it is that scripture God says, not only will I give to you, but I'll also keep the reaper from, you know, messing up your harvest. And in my mind, that's, you know, the headaches, the, the, the random bills, the random breakdowns, your washer broke down, dryer broke down. I noticed when I started paying my tithe, the things that I had that I owned, they would last longer emergencies didn't come up as much financial expenses didn't come up as much and if you think about it it's a pretty awesome thing it's very selfless to give a part of your money away and help somebody that's really struggling i remember when my family was struggling we had to go to the, a church food shelf and i always just i hated going in there because i felt so broken and, and broke and it felt so humiliating you know um, asking for food but that's where we were as a family and um, somebody had to pay that bill it might have been some rich person um, a collection of people paying that or 10% to make sure that this food house had food um, to feed us and so when you start to give a little bit of your your 10% you're really helping out a lot of people that you don't even really get to meet or see but you're blessing them and um that kind of karma is just it's going to come around there's another scripture something along the lines of um god says if you even so much give a cup of water to my sons or something i am in debt to you he says um but i want to end this video by saying i'm not perfect at paying the tithe i did it for many years and i was really good and perfect at it on every dollar but these days, I will admit I've gotten a little lazy and um, haven't been managing my money as much. But that just because I'm being lazy in the latter parts, I don't want to miss out on telling this story to anybody that, you know, is really struggling out there to make ends meet. Maybe you can relate with my story. Who knows, you're a single mom, a single dad. Um, you got, you know, you're your parents are broke whatever if you're just if you just have a hundred dollars um take the 10 bucks and give it to a charitable organization and trust that god will provide for you he'll open up a new door for you um in your life and i do 100 percent believe that again i was i came from absolute nothing the deserts of Mexico, um, just broke with no real path. My grandpa, my dad, they, we were, we were just we weren't close. Um, there just wasn't a lot of opportunities. Um, now I'm swimming in opportunities. I'm, I'm I'm definitely eating off the fruits of that tree of generosity. Uh, swimming in opportunities. I'm surrounded by highly industrious men. I have many brothers. We all work together. 
and uh yeah just anybody that's really struggling out there just hang on um maybe you're sharing beds with your siblings right now and you're you're eating out of the out of the food shelf bag and you don't see a way out man that is a tough place to be and i remember it well but you gotta just stick around let life unfold but you also have to change um i truly believe things really just started changing for me when i turned over to christianity and i started giving 10 percent of my income i just can't tell you how many things changed how blessed i felt it felt like living in a desert with no water and when i started tithing it just felt like i was an oasis with plenty of rain and trees and grapes great fruits all kinds of food on the trees that's how i feel like i'm living now and i just think god's gonna just more and more provide as long as you're faithful again the things aren't really that important it's really your heart that he's trying to change so maybe if you're one of the type of people that never tried giving and um maybe you're doing good in life and you never tried give, giving but i'd still encourage you take some money if you can't start with 10 percent, maybe that's too much maybe you got student loan bills uh, all kinds of bills maybe just start with one percent just try to give anything that you can just to just to just to you know work out that little muscle let it grow over time i think if you really live a good life you should start with the one percent two percent but on your way out say you're 80 years old and you're very successful and you have no longer need for so much stuff I see myself later giving away like 50% of your income, 60%, and it just keep growing because the older, the older you get, you really, you, if you set your life up, you'll probably need a lot less and you'll be able to give a lot more to people that are starting out in life. And, uh, after all, like, uh, isn't that what life's all about, helping people? Um, Again, I'm not always a people helper, man. Sometimes I wake up, I hate people. All right, I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes I don't want to help people. Sometimes, man, I'm not a smiley Christian all the time. But, you know, I always come back to the base, the base level. Um, I, we all go through hard times and I realize that the best way to live is to give. Anyways, hope you stuck around. Um, if you're a kid, man, if you're an adult, whatever, take this practice. Man, I really wish I could have perfect stories to give of what happened in my life when I started giving the 10%. It was just like clockwork. Things changed so fast. But again, it's also slow at the same time. It's a slow growth, you know, you you, te you give that 10%, you get a new client, you get a new job, you get a raise at your job, you get another opportunity, and then you keep giving, giving, you climb that ladder, and God can trust you with more and more things. But if he can't trust you, if he thinks, if you're just going to be spoiled and, you know, sit around and be rich and not give, maybe that's, maybe that's, not what he, the type of person he trusts with a lot. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he does. Who am I to say? But try giving this week. If you can, just do 1%, 2%, all the way to 10% and see what kind of doors open up. See what kind of ideas come into your mind to make more income. Um, really stretch shut your capabilities but remember a hundred percent of it's his all of this stuff is borrowed hundred percent of it's his so if you give him back the ten percent i mean really it's it's all his anyway so asking for ten percent doesn't seem like too much but again i'm being a i'm i'm being kind of a hypocrite right now because i haven't done it in a while so i'm gonna work on that in my own life but the point is still valid because of my experience and um, 
coming from a, a deep rooted family of poverty and low, you know, budget mindset thinkers, you know, and uh, to where I am now. Again, I'm not super rich or nothing, but I'm doing pretty dang good and uh, for a single guy. And I don't see it slowing down at all. If anything, it just, you know, it's going faster and faster in the, the right direction. But anyway, this is not about me. Well, I guess it is. I gotta go, man. Take care, guys.